Warning, this video contains extremely large amounts of Belgian Dan! Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, 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 welcome to another Belgian Dan playthrough video. I am Belgian Dan and this is my playthrough video and yes, this will be part 6. If you haven't played the game so far, then please stop watching this video and do so now. If you haven't watched previous parts yet, then what are you doing here? Go watch them now. Do it. Do it now. Warning, there will be a lot of spoilers and all that blah 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 blah. We'll continue in 5, 4, 3, fuck it, let's just continue. No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Don't give me that look. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. But I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Even though that's pretty nice of her, didn't she realize that the kid is sitting there listening in? The parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was her. Be a hero, maybe. A protector, at least. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here. But I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. And with his stories, I do mean porn. Well, let's head back before Clementine starts asking questions. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Oh crap. Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? I guess it's best she hears it from me. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. That should be enough information for now. Let's see, what to do next? He doesn't look too good. Oh well. Moving on. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Don't mention it. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Yeah, that is very true. Are you guys alright? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I really think I should tell them. They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they did. Lee, you got a second? Sure. So, yeah. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. Shit happens, Shit man. Happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Look, we could have done a lot better together, man. It's not just you. Hey there, 
Talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Well, to be honest, that is a really, really good question. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. <laughs> oh. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Hey, don't worry about it. All you need is a good cup of coffee to get through and actually uh, increase your perception again. Hey, there's a battery. And there's the second one. She should be able to get the radio to work now. Hey, Carly. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey there. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. I really hope the batteries aren't empty. Let's see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. That's an easy fix. There we go. And there's a power switch. There it is. As the you fixed it. Continues to spread on uh -huh. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. Well, that didn't really sound too hopeful. I wonder how she took the bad news. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. 
I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Well, I really do hope so for you and them. But for now, it's time to move out. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. I'll follow you. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen I was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room I heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you.